Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917, we're going to be making the dried beef sandwich. And if you're wondering what dried beef is, it's this. It comes in a jar. It's dried. It's chopped, pressed, reformed meat. It's very salty. You should probably rinse it before you use it, if you're going to use it at all. Now, some folks will comment that I uh, should go to the deli and buy it. I have not seen this in a deli out in the West Coast ever. But hey, if you know one that's close to San Jose that does sell it, let me know. Let's make our sandwich filling. So to chopped up dried beef, we add chopped up pickles. And there are no amounts given, so I'm just sort of, you know, winging it. And then we add uh, chopped up mayonnaise. I'm kidding, there's no such thing. Then we put that onto thin slices of white bread. Okay, let's give this dried beef sandwich a go. It's not bad. I mean, once you soak the dried beef for a little bit to get the salt off, it becomes basically kind of like a beef lunch meat mixed with a little mayonnaise and pickle. It's not too shabs McDabs, but uh, I do want to plus it up. I'm gonna add some shredded lettuce and tomato, seasoned of course. Okay, let's give this dried beef sandwich plussed up with a little shredded and seasoned tomato a go. So you get a little sweetness from the tomato, a little bit of crunch from the lettuce, uh, plays well with the pickle, plays well with the dried beef, plays well with the mayonnaise. All right, so the original dried beef sandwich wasn't bad. I mean, it was dried beef, mayonnaise, and pickles. The only way that's bad is if you don't like one of them, or two of them, or all three of them. Anyway, I think the original, it was okay. I'm gonna give it a five and a half. Plus up with the shredded lettuce and seasoned tomato. Six, six and a half, I'll finish it. I don't know that I would make this particular sandwich again because it's not that compelling, but it's fine enough to eat for lunch today. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow.